Hey, Charles, do you think robotics and automation may replace human labor and have unwanted results? Yeah, Andrew Yang certainly thinks, though. That's why all the UBI people are pushing really heavily for uh, UBI, because they say automation is going to kill us. Um, there is definitely three classes of automation, I think, within the next 20 years are going to have a profound impact on employment. Uh, autonomous vehicles is one category. Uh, eventually, helper robots uh, are going to evolve to a point where they're actually capable of walking and interacting. So for uh, cleaning jobs, service industry jobs, and these types of things, there's going to be a huge impact there. And three, augmentation of skilled labor for the trades. Uh, so the vast majority of things you do in the trades, from carpentry work to plumbing work to electrical work, uh, if you're at a point where you can make fries uh, or operate a cash register as a robot, you probably can do that skilled labor very well. In fact, many cases much better than a human being can. You never get tired, uh, you make precise measurements, you have very sophisticated optics and these types of things. Uh, you don't have the independent thought, so you have to be supervised and managed by somebody, uh, but that's definitely going to be doable. 20 years, that's here. Now, if you sum up the jobs in those sectors and say, well, will automation kill that? You could be losing 50 million jobs in the United States from those three categories. So I do think there is a big, big issue with that. And the problem with wealth distribution, when you have automation, a small group of capitalists will be able to buy that labor to replace human labor at a huge competitive advantage. And that wealth will not trickle down. Because at least when you're hiring people, there's trickle down. If you have just robots, there's no trickle down. There's a hyper capitalization. So usually you see UBI and wealth tax bundled together for uh, these types of things. I don't believe in wealth tax. I think it's theft. I think UBI makes sense when you have sovereign wealth funds. It does not make sense in a de deficit culture. If you have a massive national debt, what the fuck are you doing printing money to give money to people? makes no sense because the inflation is actually going to exceed whatever paltry handouts you're giving to society as a whole. But if you have a $1.5 trillion sovereign wealth fund like Norway does, distribute the dividends to your people. Good fiscal management won't debase your currency and uh, it'll be do a lot of good. You'll get a lot of velocity out of that money, especially for the poor people, and really help your uh, your economy. So it's a, it's a mixed bag.